Hello everybody, my name is Katie, welcome back to my channel, and for today's video of another bullet journal for you, since September is pretty much over, spooky season is about to start, so for this month's theme, I am going with that Halloween kind of theme and doing like spider webs and spiders, which I actually hate in real life, but when they're fictional, it's okay. So we're gonna go with that. I have a lot of other Halloween themed bullet journals as well. If you're interested in any of them, I'll link them in the corners and the description box below so you can watch them. I think three other themes, at least definitely two, maybe three. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with this month's theme. So to go ahead and start off, I wanna say that this cover page is not my idea. Like I just literally saw this on Google and was like, ooh, I'm going to recreate this. So that's what I did. So this is not my original work, just letting you know. Um, but yeah, so I drew a little blob in the center in purple and then a bunch of spider webs in the corner, kind of shaded in the middle of them to have purple as well to kind of tie the whole theme together. And then I just drew a bunch of spiders like hanging down from the top webs. And then a little calendar in the bottom center kind of area to fill up the extra space. And then I moved on to my quote page where I was honestly just feeling kind of lazy. So I just copied and pasted my spider webs from the first page and then wrote the quote in the middle, which is when spider webs unite, they can tie up a lion. And then moving on next to my mood tracker, I just drew a bunch of spiders, or I guess I drew one spider and I copied and pasted it 30 times to have a total of 31 spiders, spaced them out evenly, numbered them, and then drew a little key in the bottom left hand corner and just did various shades of purple for my moods. And then moving on to my habit tracker, I just copied and pasted men from last month, put the calendar that I drew on the front page actually already, so it was very simple there. And then copy and pasted some spider webs to fill up the extra space on the bottom of the page. And then moving on to my sleep tracker, I just did the exact same thing, except I had to add a 31 because there was only 30 days in September and 31 in October. Same thing for hi highlight of the day. Sometimes I forget to do that, um, but I remembered this month, so pat on the back for that. <laughs> Um, but then after that, after I did my highlights, I just went ahead and moved on to my weekly spread where I just copied and pasted, drew the spiders, but I filled them in and I'm going to have the numbers in white just to kind of provide some contrast there. And then that was literally it. Super, super simple theme this week. And let's just go ahead and move on to the flip through. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to also hit that subscribe button down below because I post videos every single Sunday and I hope to see you back again next week. Bye.